Hello, my beautiful, beautiful ones. If this is your first time watching and you haven't subscribed, please like and subscribe below. Um, that way you'll get all my fitness videos like um, and motivational vlogs and everything that I've got going on. I do a lot of ASMR videos too. AS ASMR are videos that help you sleep or reduce stress. So if you have anybody that you know um, suffers from anxiety or if you are in the hospital or find yourself in the hospital, it's fun to be able to watch those because you feel like you um, will be getting out. You know what I mean? Getting outside and getting like some fresh fresh energy so anyway you guys it was so interesting today while I was doing my cardio I just had this thought like uh, I don't have any family in Tucson it's just Josh and I out here and I still don't really have that many friends out here it's it's um, you know it can be it can be tough sometimes uh, when you move to a new place but I'm so fo focused on um, just trying to build this channel and writing and just really rehabbing my my hip injury. So anyway, um, sometimes, you know, I, I don't get to experience a lot of the stresses that a lot of, uh, like I would normally if I was you know, living around family and stuff. And anyway, just, it gave me a thought. My thought um, while I was in there was how many of you have just completed a weekend or a time, maybe it was a family reunion or a pool party or a high school reunion or whatever it is, and it didn't go the way that you wanted. So you went through just uh, tremendous heartache, tremendous um, conflict just say it just didn't turn out uh, the way that you wanted it to turn out well I'm gonna dedicate this video to you and this video is going to be really just telling you how amazing you are okay how amazing you are that you have come through all of the situations that you've come through. In fact, if you could kind of think in your mind right now, what are some of the toughest situations that you found yourself in? Just kind of, let's, let's just think of one. Let's just make it super easy. So just think of one situation that was really, really difficult that you got through. Now I want you to just kind of take a deep breath and just kind of ask yourself how did you get through that situation what was the music you were listening to what was the food you were eating what kind of people were around you what situation did you find yourself in where you were able to generate that strength within you that it could have been a, it could have been an exact moment it could be like a period of time around that moment but think about that. Just take a moment right now and just think about that. Just think about what what is it that got you through that time? You know, was it your faith? Was it certain music? Was it uh, certain people? Just kind of think about think about that. Because what I want you to know is whatever situation you have just come through, whatever or however mean somebody was to you, even, I mean, let me just tell you this, anybody who says that they don't have issues in their family <laughs> is a person that has issues. And let me just say this, or their family's just blotto, like vanilla blotto. You know what I mean? Like, if you have a family that has passion, that has conviction, that is, especially if you've got like, um, you know, Lloyd, like you have different people. Like I'm in my family growing up, um, I had uh, our family discussions were just so, so incredibly lively. Um, my father was an attorney, and uh, my mom, uh, it was an art teacher, and she was just like incredibly creative. Um, but 
it it just um it just our our discussion sometimes got very 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 heated sometimes there was like you know there was some things said that may not have been quite so nice <coughs> excuse me you guys it's literally so dry here in tucson i can't even tell you how dry it is it's always it's like i always feel like after i work out i really wish i had water i need to start bringing water um, anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that, um, um, putting those tools together, first of all, just knowing everyone's got an opinion and everyone is gonna, you know, not everyone's gonna say, everyone's gonna have their place in which they're kind of coming. Now, the beautiful thing is that you have a choice. You have a choice to give your power away and allow that person or that situation to own you and own your energy. Because if you are outside of your energy, say you're screaming, you're yelling, or you're crying, or whatever it is, you just gave your power away. You just gave your power away. So think about that. Think about, you know what, do I want to be a person right now that gives my power away? And... So I don't know anybody that's like, yeah, I want to give my power. So, so number one, just realize if I'm in a situation, even in your marriage, you know, it was funny this morning, my husband, um, my husband is not a morning person at all. And when I say he's not a morning person, he is like a crudge mudgeon. And I'm always telling him this now on the flip side at night, I'm like a crudge mudgeon me. I, I just don't like being poked. I don't, he loves, um, he loves, he's very uh, body affectionate, so he's always like touching and, you know, he's my husband. He is, he is that, but he's always saying, this is mine, this is my property. And so like, at night sometimes we're watching TV, you know, his hands go wandering. Anyway, and sometimes I will be like, stop, you know, like I just, I just wanna be, like at night I get like a little bear. So anyway, here's what happened this morning. He's always grouchy in the morning, and I'm a total morning person. He's a total night person. So sometimes if we hit between, like, I would say one to three during the day is, like, our sweet spot. Like, we that's, like, we're both, like, that's a good spot for us. But anyway, this is what happened this morning. So um, he came in. I had already been up for, like, five hours, and uh, I'd made him coffee, and... I'm always like chipper chipper. I want to tell him all oh, the bunnies came in and we've got a mockingbird and we've got a new, I just uh, figured out we've got a new kind of lizard out there. There's just like all these like fun things, you know, that, that I wanted to tell him about nature because I'm really in tune with like our yard and everything that's going on out there. I love nature. And uh, he was just grouchy. He was just like kind of being a, being a little jerk. Now I can be a little jerk high at night, right? And when I say jerk, he was just like, he was just grouchy. So anyway, um, I told him, I go, you're just being grouchy. And I, and, and, I, and I just was like, I was literally like in this happy, happy place. And then he came in with his grouch energy and made me grouchy, right? Note my words, he made me grouchy. No one makes you do anything. He doesn't make me grouchy. Me, I should say, instead of that, the correct thing would to say is I'm giving him all my power for the last four hours that I've been happy for me to now change into a, into a graduate when I gave that power up. I'm yielding that power. So I decided it was really interesting because I went in to put my contacts in and, and brush my teeth and get ready to go work out. I told him, I said, um, I went in and sat down and I just started talking. He goes, well, wait, are we, are we still... I mean, are we still arguing? Are we, are you upset because I'm a grouch? And so anyway, it was just really funny because I go, no, I'm over it. Let's just move on. And then he wanted to go back kind of into it and like talk about it and whatever. And here's the whole point. The whole point is that when you're arguing with your husband or parent or sister or whatever, or whatever, whoever it is, what I want you to ask yourself is, is I want you to ask yourself, am I, number one, 
am I in a good space? So am I fed? Have I had rest? Have I um, worked out? Like for me, these are things I always check in to see how I am. Am I about to get my period? You know, I like kind of check in with myself. So emotionally, I can kind of uh, charter the waters a little bit easier. Okay, those are all check, check, check. Then the next thing I was, I, I said to myself, I was like, you know, Kita, go in and just, you know, chit chat. So we're in there talking and I told him, I said, listen, babe, I'm just going to have a lot more grace for you because I'm going to tell myself that you are not a morning person and I'm going to give you grace in the morning and I'm going to ask that you continue to have grace for me at night. And uh, when I just want to go to bed, because I'd be like an old person, you guys. I would be so happy going to bed at like 7 or 8 o'clock at night <laughs> and getting up at like 5 or 6 in the morning. Like, I love mornings. I just like, that's where I feel like my best. But I have a husband that comes in at midnight. He's like, do you want to play? Do you want to watch a movie? Do you so like for him, his day gets started at like sometimes 2 a.m. in the morning and it's like because I don't have time to ever spend with him, I will sacrifice myself and I'll get up and I'll go do that. Well, I've decided recently I'm not going to do that anymore because I'm going to start taking care of myself. I'm going to start getting my sleep. I'm going to start training. And if I'm doing that, I need to be able to get rest, right? I need to be able to get sleep. So anyway... Long story short, it's probably going on and on and on, is number one, first of all, you're a rock star. Second of all, you're a warrior. Third of all, you're a creative, passionate genius. Um, I could go on and on and on, right? But, like, again, go back to what I asked you in the beginning. What was the food? What was the energy? Who were the people? What was, you know, the music, your environment, your room, the lighting. I just want you to ask and and figure out everything that you kind of had going on in your life that made your life so that you were like super uh, on target. You were like super focused and super motivated. And then what I want you to do, I'm going to turn this off. And then what I want you to do is we'll just sit here and chit chat while I'm here. Then what I want you to do is uh, having all of that, kind of write all those down, and you're going to kind of see, like, for me, I like to get up and I like to run. I like to be really active in the morning, so I'm just kind of, I'm trying to, like, recreate my entire schedule, so that's something that I can do. Um, is there a big goal that you have right now in your life? Is there, you know, is there a big like entrance exam or something that you have to take to kind of get to that next level? Then just start taking that and doing little tiny steps towards that. Um, but do, you know, take care of your hair. Maybe put a coconut conditioner on your hair, find a gym, go sit in a sauna, get a 20 minute workout and then come home. You're going to be much more refreshed and ready to be with your family, with your mate having had, uh, uh, taking care of those things for yourself. Okay. So do an inventory. Number one, number two then is to check in, do the inventory. That's number one. Step two is then make steps towards that inventory to kind of like check off those things, sleep, food, training, spiritual, you know, mental, physical, or there's other things you want to get into. And then the third area that, that I want to work on in, in this next, uh, coming week, is I want you to ask yourself, are you giving your power away? No one makes you do anything. Reclaim your power, take responsibility for your power, and have grace. Have grace and understanding for people around you. Uh, my mother can literally make me go crazy, and I think like five or ten seconds she can make me go Again, watch. She makes me go. That's incorrect, right? Let's let's get rid of that. I allow myself. So now what I say really quick in the last closing seconds here is I tell my mom she's driving me crazy. I'm about to go into an energy place that I just don't want to go. So I love you and I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm going to hang up. I'll call her tomorrow. Everything's great. We don't even ever talk about that. 
But anyway, you guys, I hope, I hope this gets in and you guys understand it. Stand in your light, stand in your truth, and be a warrior. I love you guys. Bye.